The following is presented by the Pinellas County Extension. I'm here once again with Pam Brown from Pinellas County Extension. Hey, did you know that you can have vegetables without these little seals on them? That's, I, you're you can absolutely grow right. Vegetable gardening right here in Florida. Even somebody like me that always goes to the grocery store because I really don't have a green thumb. It's actually not all that hard to do. It's very easy to grow vegetables and you can, it's easy to get started. Well, how do I start? First, you need to pick a spot that has six to eight hours of sun. And you mean direct sun? Direct right? sun, because okay. the vegetables need sun to grow properly. Okay. And you need to amend the soil with some organic matter. We talked about that before. Yes, about we did. About amending soil. So you just sort of throw it on the top? No, you need to dig it in. You need to dig it in. You need to do a soil pH. Because some areas of Pinellas County have very high pH, and it's vegetables like slightly acid soil and you may have to do raised bed or container gardening if you've got wow. pH of 8. Sounds like this is kind of complicated. There's a lot to go into vegetable gardening. There's a lot to go into and we don't have time okay. to go into all the things that we should do, go into but we have lots of resources available at Extension and we're going to have information on the website that people can get. So I pick a spot that's going to have all that sunlight. That's I make correct. sure the soil is okay. Yep. What's my next step? What do you like to eat? What kind of vegetables do you like? Now, wait a minute. We're here in Florida. I thought maybe we could grow tomatoes, but I wasn't sure about anything else. Tomatoes grow well here, and people like tomatoes because they taste so much better than the ones in a store. But you can grow corn, broccoli, all kinds of lettuce, collards, Swiss chard, um, kohlrabi, things that you may not have even heard of, <laughs> beets, onions. Um, about the only thing that we can't grow well here are things like artichokes and asparagus and garlic doesn't do well here. Wow. Now, you mentioned so many different varieties. Does that mean I have to take care of each of them differently? No, vegetable gardening is pretty much the same. You want to keep the weeds at bay, the pH is the same, so you don't need a whole lot of different things. You need to just be sure they get plenty of water. Irrigation is important in vegetable gardening. What about uh, the time of the year to vegetable garden? I mean, we're coming into the fall and winter here. That's the, the beauty of Florida. October to May is our gardening season. Really? That's our gardening season. October is like April in the north. Well, what happens when we have some of those really, really cold waves that come through sometime? If we're having a frost, if a frost or a freeze, you may have to protect your tomatoes and peppers. Um, a lot of things like broccoli, cauliflower, uh, collards, those things do well even if it frosts. Uh, some of the lettuce, it may um, get bit back a little bit, but it'll keep growing, or you can just plant some more seeds. Lettuce grows great from seeds. So th that's something else too. I know when I've been in, in some stores in the plant section, there are some vegetables that are already in little pots mm -hmm. or containers, but you just mentioned seeds. What's the best way to go? It depends on what you're planting. If you're going to grow tomatoes or peppers or maybe even uh, some of the squash, you can buy plants and transplant them. Corn doesn't transplant well. You need to plant the seeds. But things like lettuce or um, greens like collards, Swiss chard, those grow great from seed. Wow. Beets, the root crops, beets, carrots, those kinds of things, you need to plant seeds. From seed, mm -hmm. huh? Now here's something. I know we have bugs here because I can hear some in the background right now. Some are sort of flying around. What if the bugs get to my vegetables and get to eat them before I do? That's a problem in Florida, <laughs> that we do have a lot of bugs, but there are lots of things that you can do to treat that. One is just picking them off by hand, but that's also something that we would have to have another whole program to go into. We will have information available. There are organic ways to treat it and, and chemical ways. It just depends on what your preference are. You know, I, I actually have never really tried this. I've often thought, well, maybe I would try maybe, maybe one tomato plant somewhere, but I don't have a lot of extra space in my yard and some people don't have a yard at all. If you don't have a yard at all, if you have a terrace or a patio or, or, or um, a balcony that has sun, you can use a container. You can plant a window box full of lettuce or you could have a pot and plant a tomato or a pepper or if you don't have room in your yard 
What about your flower beds that are in the sun? Plant a little colored lettuce along the edge as a border or some Swiss chard in the back, a couple of broccoli plants um, until you harvest them. Even after you harvest them, they're really attractive. Well, Nan, your edible, edible landscape. I was just going to say yeah. part of the land, an edible landscape. Yeah. You just said a word, harvesting. How do I know when it's time to to reap the fruits of my labor, so to speak, or the vegetables of my labor, I guess that would be. <laughs> <laughs> well, the vegetables are fruits. Most of them are fruits, actually. Um, you will, you, with lettuce or Swiss chard or the greens, you want to pick those, those leaves that are on the outside and leave the middle growing because it will huh. continue to produce for you way into the season. Broccoli, you cut the center head as it matures, uh -huh. then it produces little side shoots that you can also harvest and eat. Oh my gosh. Tomatoes, you want to leave them on until they're ready and ripe because that's why they taste so good when you grow them at home. The same way with your peppers, but um, if you're growing squash or cucumbers, harvest them when they're small. They're much tastier. Really? If you turn your back on zucchini for several days, they'll be 18 inches long. Well, does, does, it, does it harm the plant or does it make it produce more when you, I mean, there are some flowers, for instance, if you cut off the buds, they'll flower more. Is the same true of vegetables? That's true because if you're removing those, it continues to flower because its goal is to produce seeds, to reproduce the species. So if you take those seeds that are developing in that fruit off, it's gonna keep producing more. I actually might be able to do this now. I'm getting kind of excited. What should I be thinking about in my yard at this time of year besides vegetable gardening? Okay, if you have if you have some bulbs like amaryllis or crinum lilies, those it's time to divide those. Or if you want some things that look like tulips in the spring, consider planting some amaryllis. This is a good time. Um, it's time to fertilize citrus trees. It's also, if you have a bahia grass or maybe Bermuda and you want it to be bright green all winter, you can overseed with rye grass. And then mow some more. And mow all winter. That's exactly <laughs> Exactly right, mow all winter. For more information on this and many more topics, visit www.pinellascountyextension.org.